Hello everyone, myself, I am Anil Kumar, here in front of you with a new topic from Biology. Today in this class, we are going to study about the, the discovery of cells. We are going to learn about the discovery of cells. Cells, as we have seen in the previous video, and also as we all know that it is the basic unit of all the living organisms. It is the structural and functional unit of all living organisms. But who was behind the discovery of it? Who contributed for the development of cell science? The person is Robert Hooke. In the year 1665, he was the first person to use a microscope and observe the cell for the first time. He observed the, the cell of a cord of a dead plant tissue. Cord means a dead, a dead uh, plant tissue. So he observed them and he, when he observed them, they looked like small compartments, small grooves. And he named them as cell. Actually, it, the word cell comes from a Latin word which means cellula. Cellula means a closed room. Cellula means a closed room. So from that word, he has uh, uh, named it as cell. In English, we call it as cell. So he was the first person to observe the cell. And whatever the cells that he observed were the dead cells, not the living cells. He observed the cells of a dead plant cord. And after him, the next person who contributed for the development of cell science is the Anton van Leeuwenhoek. Anton van Leeuwenhoek, who, who played a very crucial role in a, who played a very crucial role in the study of uh, cells. He was the first person to observe the living cell. He observed the, the pond water. He observed the teeth scratching. He observed the, the uh, bacteria that is present in the mouth. He observed various things. So he observed the microorganism. He is the one who disclosed the world of microbiology to the world. He is the one who said that many other living organisms exist in the world which cannot be seen by the naked eye. And to even human with the help of a simple microscope, he was able to see various uh, kind of bacteria, various kinds of uh, cells in a uh, various living organism. And then comes uh, the next uh, two great scientists, Matthias Friedel and Theodor Schwann. Matthias Friedel and Theodor Schwann. So these two people, Matthias Friedel, who is a botanist, and Theodor Schwann, who is a zoologist. These people uh, initially they worked separately, but later on they worked as a unit and they uh, propagated a cell theory. They introduced a cell theory with their findings. So what does that mean? According to their theory, they say that all living organisms are made of cells. May it be plants, may it be animals, whatever it is, all the living organisms are made up of cells. And the second point is that cell is the basic unit of all the living organisms. Without cell, there is no life can exist. Even if it is a unicellular organism, it is a cell, even if it is a multicellular organism, it is made up of various kinds of cells. So, cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all living organisms. And what are the points created by these two people? All living organisms are made up of cells. Cell is the basic unit of all the living organisms. These two points are said. And later on, after around the, uh, almost around the 19 years after, a person called as Rudolf Virchow. Rudolf Virchow added a little more to this. He said, Omnicellula e cellula. Omnicellula e cellula, which is a uh, Latin phrase which means the cells exist from the pre existing cells. All the cells exist from the, all the cells come from the pre existing cells. This statement was given by Rudolf Virchow. So, this is the cell theory. It was almost finished. Uh, later on, many discoveries were done. But this is the foundation, this is the uh, basic for the study of cell science. I, I would like to repeat it again. Theodor Schwann and uh, Matthias Klied, they have given the statement, all living organisms are made up of the cell. And cell is the basic structural 
you know, the Paul the living organism. And Rudolf Virchow added to this by saying that omnicellular, ecellular is one of the statements, which means our cells exist or our cells come from the pre existing cells. Hope I am clear to you. It is what uh, I thought of uh, bringing to you in today's uh, session, in this session. Thank you for uh, your patience. Thank you for watching.